hey guys i just really wanted to hop on here really quick to answer this question i realize a lot of you guys having this question about how come some persons have symptoms and some don't although everyone level is low so i don't have an answer for that <laughs> it's that simple i don't have an answer for that as to why some persons have symptoms and some don't even though you guys even may have the same uh, vitamin d deficiency score so i'm not sure but what i can tell you is that everyone is unique so not because it's not happening to this person that doesn't mean it's not going to happen to you and vice versa so not because they're having symptoms and you're not having symptoms means it means completely nothing right that's what i'm trying to get at so let me paint a picture in your head if your, your vehicle can only run until it hits an e right after e that's it right so it's the same thing with vitamin d it seems as though that persons with low vitamin d their level uh, when it drops it seems to be the longer it stays low then those symptoms are going to creep in for example when persons get cancer right some persons don't recognize until they start having symptoms but that's when it's too late that's it's probably stage four cancer by now right so what i've realized is that maybe some persons don't have symptoms because they weren't deficient long enough versus the other person may have been deficient for a long time without realizing and now they're having symptoms so that is what i think is happening is the similar case with cancer like i just explained so i think that is the best thing i can come up with right now that analogy with the cancer it's similar to this one so regardless if you are low in vitamin d without symptoms and you find out that you're low you should go and get that vitamin d up because vitamin d is one of the biggest factors when it comes to cancer prevention having high levels of vitamin d will decrease your risk for cancer across the board so don't wait until you're 60 or later on in life and then realize that hey you have you know and then you know a myriad of different things can cause you know cancer but vitamin d look it up it plays a big role in prevention so that's what i got for you today guys uh maybe you gotta watch this video two or three times to really grasp what i was saying because i may have been a bit all over the place but i hope you guys understand if you don't drop whatever you were unclear about in the comments and i'll be sure to respond to you i'll see you guys in another video and you know guys make sure you take your supplements and you know it's dylan and i'm out peace